Hey, um, I'm Shri, I'm a second year chemical engineering student and I'm about to start a placement in July in R&D. I'm Ewan, I'm a final year computer science student and I finished a placement last August in a software engineering role in the cybersecurity sector. Oh my God, that sounds so cool. How did you actually pick out what placement you want to do and how you started applying? Because there's so many, especially in the STEM field, it can be super overwhelming. I started looking maybe the September, October of my second year. Really narrowing it down, I was thinking, um, firstly location, so I really wanted to stay in Manchester. The other thing for me that I looked quite a bit on was whether I wanted um, to be a big or a small company. How did you find like interviews and getting through the various stages of applying? Yeah, so for me that was like a totally new experience because I'd never actually been through a sort of formal application process for technical jobs before. So the first few kind of came on really early and so I hadn't really practiced much for them, I hadn't had much support and they were kind of like, you know, I feel like interviews are very muscle memory sort of, so the more you do the better you get at them. But then sort of going from there and then also knowing that like a lot of other people were in the same boat, from that point onwards I kind of thought that, you know, practicing for interviews and actually taking like the prep seriously is really important. Interviews I, I found really tough, certainly at first, and we have a careers tutor in-house in our department and he's really, really helpful at just giving some general advice, going in knowing what to expect, you know, sometimes asking, reaching out to your contacts at the company and just seeing if they can give you any more information about what to expect on the day was really helpful for me. How did you sort of deal with transitioning from being a uni student and then suddenly, you know, you're at a job and you're working with people who've been doing this job for like decades? So it was it was scary at first. Every day I was, you're worried, am I doing the right thing? You know, am I taking too long to do this? And imposter syndrome, I'm sure you've heard about it. It's, it's yeah. a big one. It was something that I, I definitely suffered from at times. The way I went about handling that was just kind of taking a step back, firstly recognising that it's, it's a feeling that loads of people have. Being proactive about asking for feedback, whether that's your manager or the people you work with on the day-to-day, -day, getting the assurances from them that actually know you are doing the right thing. As someone who frequently used to struggle a lot to ask for help, how did you go about doing that in like, you know, a workplace environment with people that you'd never worked with before and, you know, concepts that you never worked with before as well? The one thing that everybody said as their main advice was like never be scared to ask questions and I hope in whatever company that anybody goes to on placement that's the culture that they set as well because the more questions you can ask the more you'll learn and hopefully the better you'll do. Working in a professional environment for a whole year, you must have been able to meet you know, so many incredible people in the field of work that you're doing. Even though it was a smaller company, there were always loads of opportunities to do, to do all sorts of various things in the professional field, so just say yes to things. For me also, I ended up presenting in what we have company town halls month a month, where the whole company is on the meeting, and I end up delivering a five minute presentation in one of those. Oh my gosh, how, was, how did that go? Like, were you nervous oh, doing I'm it? Oh, so nervous. <laughs> But um, it went really well and I got a lot of really positive feedback from people I'd never met in the company. Uh, they were messaging me on our, on our platform uh, to say well done. Do you think that sort of confidence is something that you've definitely you know, been able to use a lot in uni coming back as well? Coming to uni after, after being in the world of work for a year, the time management is, is very different to uni I think. Whereas at uni you kind of have a list of tasks that you have deadlines for and then not much other structure other than going to your lectures and things like that. Whereas in my placement we were having planning meetings a few times a week, we were having to talk through what we'd done, next steps. People are far more happy if you take a day longer and be honest about it. Yeah. And just making sure that like you're delivering the quality of what they expect as well. How do you think spending that year out in industry has helped you with your you know, sort of confidence for either getting a graduate role or you know, actually getting the role itself? So I was very lucky to come out with a job offer from my year in industry. Oh, very nice. Uh, but even if you don't necessarily gain that, you have the experience of going through the processes and you can go into it again knowing that I am going to hopefully get somewhere and hopefully from there you can take your career forward from it. Well, Ewan, thank you so much for all of your incredible insight onto the placement year. I really hope that, you know, after finishing mine, I can love my placement and love the job that I did just as much as you did. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I hope you have a really amazing time. Thank you. <laughs>